hi guys welcome back to my channel and this is a video of my top three you want to see the top three makes of 2021 stick around i had a photo shoot for my 40th birthday and it was so fun um i did two looks i sold one look was an evening gown and the other look it actually was a look that i rented from rent the runway i didn't want to put too much pressure on myself for uh, making two things i could have but I saw this really bomb blazer on um, Rent the Runway's website and I rented it for one of my looks. But for my evening gown look, I, I knew I wanted to make that. I had to make a dress for myself um, and it worked out perfectly. It looks so good. Quite a few things in 2021, but we're just going to go over my top three. And to no surprise, it is dresses. Three dresses I'm going to go over. Two were made for myself and one was made for my best friend. Um... All three are like special occasion style dresses, so very dressy, sparkly fabrics. Um, I'm going to dive right in. And I did use patterns for all three, and I'll go over those with you all. And I'm going to be inserting video clips and picture slides within this video as I talk about it. I wrote down some notes because two of them were way back in the beginning of 2021 for my 40th birthday. Um, I turned 40 this year. I'm a, a month away from 41 and I'm going to be making something for that too. So when we get there, we'll get into that. But let's go ahead and start with the first one. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is my photo shoot dress. So the photo shoot dress, I use McCall's pattern 8142 and I use view A. There's only two pattern pieces for the front and the back of the top of the dress and then one pattern piece for the sleeves the only alteration that i did make for this dress was to add a cuff instead of the elastic that it called for in the pattern i just want to add an extra uh, piece to the pattern um of the dress instead of using elastic i just thought it was going to look a little better a little bit more formal and i love the way it turned out and then i have long arms too so i thought that that would give me a little extra length without having to alter the the bell sleeve as much on the pattern um for the bottom of the dress i used a mccall's pattern as well it was one of the mix and max match patterns and that was mccall's 7047 and there was only two pieces for the front and the back I did hem it with a house a horse hair uh, braid um, with about two inches so that I can have that nice wavy look at the bottom because the dress is like a mermaid style dress. So I definitely wanted to have a more dramatic flair to the bottom of my dress instead of it just uh, falling flat. So I definitely did that and it was really, really nice. The bottom of the dress, the skirt portion, I was going to put a split in there. I actually did cut a split, but I really didn't like the way it looked. It kind of took away from the fit and flair of the dress. So I actually ended up sewing that seam back up and it looked much better without it. Um, this dress was really simple to come together. The top portion was lined, um, but the bottom portion I didn't have to line at all. But the top, just for a more finished look, it looked much better lined. You don't have to unless your fabric is um, transparent. But I went ahead and did that step. But for the bottom, I did not line it at all. Um, anything else I got the fabric from uh, rainbow fabrics here in Chicago that's local to me um, and it also was at the fabric warehouse in Ch Chicago as well and it comes in a bunch of different fabrics I mean I'm sorry it comes in a bunch of different colors um, and I got the pink and gold iridescent um, look I just really loved it I fell in love with it it was so pretty and um, my photographer for the photo shoot was like really amazed at like you made this I'm like yes girl I made it this wasn't my first formal dress that I've ever made but this is my favorite. Like, it fit so nicely. Um, the length was beautiful. I had a really nice shoe. It was awesome. I'm going to insert some videos and pictures of it, but it turned out amazing. No complaints at all. And the bottom portion, um, that pattern, that 7047, uh, it is a mix and match pattern. So I actually used that pattern as well for my actual birthday dress that I wore to my birthday dinner, as well as this formal gown. So my birthday dress. Um, I didn't go anywhere this year. You know, we've been in a pandemic, so I didn't travel anywhere, but I wanted to do a staycation. So I uh, got myself a nice hotel for a couple of days downtown um, just to have like a nice, 
you know, pampering and like alone time, just a really nice room to celebrate my 40th birthday. So I made a dress for that night. I had a dinner, me and my boyfriend, um, and I made a reservation for the restaurant that was in the hotel so that I did not have to go outside into the elements because it was so much snow. Like it was so much snow, like the day before my birthday, um, that I actually did have to do my hair on my own because I was not even able to make it to my hair appointment. It was literally like a baby blizzard. So These um, I just had to do it on my own. It turned out really nicely, but I knew that the weather wasn't going to be that great. So I made a reservation for inside the hotel so that I didn't even have to put on a coat or anything. I could just go right down the elevator and go to the restaurant. So I made a dress. Um, I made a, a short dress, a mini dress, because I had over the knee boots that I got and that I was really um, wanting to wear. I actually wore them in a photo shoot with a different look as well, but really, really loved them. But I used the same pattern, that mix and match one that I just was talking about for the other one, um, but I actually used a different version of the top. And that is McCall's 7047. Again, I cut a size 14. Um, I shortened the skirt up a little bit, like I said, to accommodate for the over the knee boots that I was wearing. Um, and it was not that many pieces as well for this, just the front and back uh, uh, bodice pieces for the top of the dress. I, there was a long sleeve. That was pattern piece number seven. So the uh, skirt portion was eight and nine. That was two pieces. The top portion was one and two pattern pieces and then the sleeve. So five pieces for this um, dress. And the only alterations I made was I shortened the skirt. Really, really love how this one turned out. I got another sparkly fabric for this one. Um, really like this. This was um, black with like silver uh, glitters, flickers in it. Like really glittery fabric. It looked beautiful, but listen. This fabric got everywhere. Like the glitter on the dress got everywhere. I did not realize that it had that much fallout. When I was sewing it, I kind of noticed it a little bit, but I didn't realize how much fallout it would have. Literally when I got up to go to the bathroom in the restaurant, like my seat was covered <laughs> in glitter. So it was really, really cute though, but I'm like, oh my God, like they're gonna be upset at me when I leave because I'm leaving glitter everywhere that I go but I love the dress it was so pretty oh the only thing actually I did add something to this when I added like a little flounce to the waist uh, portion of the skirt and I actually only um drafted that with like a, a slash and spread method um I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with that but like I just made like a little half peplum um just wanted to make it you know a little bit more flattering I have to worry about like oh is this showing my stomach or whatever i just added that piece and it was so nice i really really love that again super easy pattern um five pieces really nice it came together really quickly and i definitely were gonna make that pattern again um just super simple it doesn't have to be a, a dressy fabric it just is a nice dress pattern that you can mix and match multiple pieces over and over again so again i love that that is mccall 7047 size 14 is what i cut and again, I got that fabric from Rainbow Fabrics um, locally here um, for me in Chicago. And I didn't see that one in like the fabric uh, warehouse um, that I go to. So I actually only saw that one at Rainbow Fabrics in Chicago. So I was glad that I got that. And it's a stretch knit uh, fabric. I think I only got three yards of that and it was fine because it was a mini dress. I didn't need as many, um, as much yardage as I did with the formal gown that I did. And last but not least, the last dress on my top three of 2021 is my best friend's 40th birthday dress. So we went to dinner and she wanted a wrap dress. She loves wrap dresses. I love wrap dresses too. So we decided to make her a wrap dress, but we made it in a beautiful sequence fabric, a beautiful hunter green sequence fabric. It was stunning. Like I really, really love it. I was like, oh my God, I want to keep this dress for myself. It's so nice. I want to make a dress like this for myself. I actually was thinking about making one for my birthday, but I'm like, you know, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make something totally different, but I love how her dress came out. It was really, really nice. She got tons of compliments and she wore it to the birthday dinner that we had together. We have, um, a birthday dinner together, 
like solo one-on-one BFS like every year. So we wore it out. We went to a really nice restaurant downtown in the city and I got beautiful pictures and video of her. I'll insert inside here. She told me that I could share. Um, but I really, really loved her dress as well. And I use McCall's pattern. I actually use McCall's patterns for all three of these dresses. McCall's 8021 View C. Um, I use the arms uh, and the tie for around the waist from view B, but the dress is view C. Um, it's seven pattern pieces. Um, I did not use the pockets for her dress, so I didn't put pockets in hers. I did have to line hers, and the pattern calls for you to line it as well, but I couldn't even skip on this one because her fabric was like pretty much see-through. I'm a really kind of like thin... Uh, sequin it has some stretch in it but it wasn't like super spandex uh sequin um but i like i was able to find a really nice hunter green lightweight knit that matched completely it was like perfectly perfectly matched so i lined that um and the dress does call for two for two snaps so i added two snaps i did shorten the length for her she's shorter like we're total opposites i'm tall and she's really short so i actually uh shortened hers by like three inches um and what size did i cut for her i believe i cut a, a large for her um and I really enjoy making this dress. Like, I took my time. Like, sometimes I rush through sewing, but I really took my time step by step with this. Um, I knew that's the type of dress that she wanted. So I actually, um, you know, did it over like a week and a half, or maybe a couple of weeks. And I did that like with my photo shoot dress as well. But my birthday dress that I wore on the dinner, I made that one in like a day or a day and a couple of hours on another day, really, really quick. Cause it's like a mini dress. Um, really simple shape but the other two like the gown and then her birthday dress I really took my time because I wanted to be really nice you know and like I said she got tons of compliments it was really really nice and I know she'll probably get to wear it again because it's not I mean you know most of the time they say occasional things just like you wear it once and that's it but it's really nice and I love how flattering wrap dresses are so it was really really nice um, again, these were the top three things that I made in 2021. Like I said, I made multiple things, I believe 40 things. Um, and that includes like most of the things were for myself. Um, I do a lot of selfish sewing. Um, don't sew too much for other people anymore. I used to do more, but working full time and I don't know, sometimes it can be really stressful. So like in my free time, I just like to do selfish sewing. Um, but usually my best friend, I, I'll always knock out something for her. I don't mind at all. Um, but I really enjoyed these three. Those were my top three. Um, and I just want to share those because I didn't want to like share everything from 2021. It would have been a super duper long video. This one's probably going to be kind of long too, but I at least wanted to share that. And I'm actually going to be uh, filming another video pretty soon because I have like all these ideas going in my head now that I want to like keep up and keep consistent. And again, like I said in the last video, even though uh, my subscriber count and my views aren't that high right now, I just figure I, you know, record and people will come, they'll find them eventually and they'll be here. While I have the ideas going, I'm just going to keep it going because, you know, if you film and upload and you're consistent with it, then the channel will grow. So that's what I'm hoping. So. Thanks for stopping by. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and share if you like. Um, thanks for stopping by. Happy New Year again, and I'll see you soon.